yeah. And everybody really left me all alone they really left me all alone Now everybody see I'm doing fine Everybody wanna Hell reach out Ask me how I'm doing Ask me if I need anything Get my good with my kids high What's up, what's up, collective? Hey, real quick, um, if someone is experiencing um a lot of betrayals and shit in life like that, like you feel like people are trying to set you up and shit, like you know, you know what you've been going through in life, maybe with family and friends and shit like that, whatever you've been going through, there's word out on the street about your insurance policy. Someone in your family put word out on the street about um, um like I'm hearing a three million dollar insurance policy. There's a three million dollar insurance policy out on you, and you should um, you need to I be I believe it's the FDIC. You need to reach out to them, send a letter, and also go on the website. You need to call them, and uh, I had to do this two three years ago. You need to get the information. It was I I went through FDIC I believe it was. I had to send in paperwork and shit proving that I was really myself and that if any insurance policies were taken out in my name. They don't be canceled out right then and there. They still let people pay, all right? But say, for instance, you pass away or you killed or something like that, all them insurance policy, any insurance policy will not go through. No one will be able to claim an insurance policy because when it's ran through the insurance database, there will be proofs that you flagged that an uh, insurance policy was taken out of your name that you did not ask for. Yes, they are getting hip to insurance policy debts. When you become aware that multiple people are trying to set you up or take you out, Please go report to the FDIC. I hope I'm saying that correctly. FDIC, I believe they are. And uh, Google up, check for life insurance policy. And every that's what I started with and everything came up. I called the woman. She told me the form that I needed to get filled out. I went up there and brought them the form. I also faxed it too. And they sent back paperwork proving to me that any life insurance policy that's taken out in my or my children's name is voided immediately after death. You get what I'm saying? So even if I was to put an insurance policy on myself and something happened to me, that's just simply that even that insurance policy can't go out. So word on the street is, I'm just telling y'all my experience, but word on the street is everybody knows about this plot with your family about some money for your death. An insurance policy. If collectives die, there's three million and such and such can get one million, whoever set this up. Like it, it's two, two, two. It's funds. It's, it's, it's a set amount of funds that's being dispersed to different people. Different people are aware of what's going on. And some of these people, if they're like close related to you, they're aware of this insurance policy. You must be the black sheep of the family. A lot of people say, fuck you. A lot of people don't give a fuck about you. Because they're ready to eat off of this insurance policy. So if you've been wondering why people are trying to set you up, come around you and be your friend and shit like that. It's this insurance policy. They're trying to get some of that million dollars off of you. But you are the million dollars. Once you gone, the million dollars is gone literally. They can only get the million through you if you give it to them. They cannot take it from you, not via destiny, not via death. Not via theft. Only if you reach your hand out and give it to them. So you are protected, collective. You're very protected. But I'm here to confirm. They heard about that that's that 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 life insurance policy. They heard about that policy on you. It's a three million. I just heard three million. It's a three million dollar life insurance policy on you. Three 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 on the clock. And if it's not a $3 million insurance policy, they're lying telling people it's a $3 million insurance policy. It's some sort of money being talked about in the community about your debt, about you in a hearse. If you get into a hearse, how much it'll be? And there's so many fucking people that's in on this shit, it's sickening. It's so many people that's in on this shit, it's sickening. Your ex-lovers is in on this shit. Your ex-best friends is in on this shit. It's so fucking sickening and disgusting on how many people are in on this shit, collective. It's so fucking sick. Look, nine of staff. It's so fucking sick that it outnumbers how many people you can think. It outnumbers how many you can fucking think, yo. Like, just three days ago, this bitch I grew up with, talk, hit me up, talk about some she wanted to go hiking. I told that hoe I love hiking. I told that hoe I love hiking. Let's hit me up. She ain't never hit me back. She, I'm still waiting to go hiking right now. I got, I got my, my gear right here. I got my, my bootstrap and everything. I got my phone. I got all that. I got my hiking equipment. I used to hike at the Hollywood sign. I'm waiting for I want to go hiking. Come on, love. Four, four, four on the clock. I'm protected. Please, let's go hiking. I 
I've been waiting to legally catch a body. Please, let's go hiking, love. Please, let's go hiking. Please come in. I ain't, I ain't got no car. I ain't even got Uber to Uber till you come pick me up from the crib. Come pick me up from the exact same crib I'm at the Uber back to after we go hiking. Come on, let's go hiking, Miss Bitch. So it could be a situation like that, collective. People trying to bait you to places. Uh, look, death. Death. People trying to bait you to places. Trying to get you to come places. Get you to go places with them. Nobody trying to come to you, though. Because they're scared. Ask these individuals to come into your home. When they hit you up and tell you to come do something, tell them, come come, come chill with me first. Come to the house. Come by the house. Come to the house. Come in the house. They're going to have the excuse. They can't 543. They can't come to your house. Because they think that you know that they're trying to set you up. So if you've been dealing with people not trying to come around you but want you to come around them, that's because they're aware that you may be aware that they're trying to set you up. Come on, hold. Stop playing fucking stupid. You know why they hitting you up. Look, three of staff, you know they trying to make you see the good Lord. You know what's going on out here. Don't play fucking stupid, collective. But again, play stupid like I am. Play stupid. Hey, listen. Family members I know don't even like me be hitting me up. Please come over and chill. Come on. Yeah, you guys can come over. Just ask that dress. Come on. You can come over. No, I'm not coming to you, but you can come over to me. Because I know why you're looking for me. I know why you're coming to me. I know why you want to hang out and see me. I know why. So this could be the situation just like you. This could be the situation. Just so, I mean, it's up to you. Because either way it goes, even if you do do a death because somebody are trying to set you up, you still going to go home and sleep in your bed that night because I'm trust and believe it's going to be proof. Trust and believe your story will be heard. You've been speaking enough on it. Trust and believe law enforcement is going to believe your side of the story. Because what you're saying is going to add up to a lot of other shit that has happened. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with a situation where people are trying to set you up and bait you in and, and do different shit, get your whereabouts and your locations, give it to them. <laughs> give it to them. Give it to them. They can't do, do, they, they do what I told you to do. They can't take out the insurance policy. They, even if you don't call the FDIC, they still can't take out the insurance policy because you politicized by the God up above. So that's your insurance policy that they can't touch you. Touch not the anointed. You're untouchable. God said you can touch everything around my collective, but you cannot touch my collective. And this person is sending people. There is one person, the policy holder, is sending multiple people, multiple people from your community, from your family, from your job. Be careful even with your hairstylist, your nail techs, your lash, your lash tech, your masseuse tech. Be careful now. You know what's been going on. You know who's been trying to set you up, but if you've been wondering why, it's because they have a life insurance policy out on you. They have a, could possibly be a $4 million life insurance policy on you. And they're giving $1 million away for whoever gets the drop on you. So a total, they will be getting is $3 million because they have to give $1 million away to whoever finds you. Just a side note for me, if somebody, if my pops ever fucking told your dumbass or my sister ever told your dumbass she was getting any money for setting me up or doing anything, they're lying. They put an insurance policy on you and they sending you my way so I can fuck you off. And they can claim your insurance policy. I'm just putting it out there because I know everybody be watching my shit. So for those of you that my sister and my mom and my dad be sending in shit, just know I know. I know exactly who sent you. I know exactly why who coming my way, coming my way. Okay? It's not nothing hidden. If I go along with it, it's because I'm trying to go along with it too. You heard me? Y'all want clout for some money. I won't clout for God. I love to go viral telling God's story. You heard me? <laughs> so that's just my little PSA to anybody out there. All the people out there that be thinking they baiting me, setting me up. All the niggas that think they about, they be texting me, talking about, oh, this. And like, no, no, you ain't setting me up, my boy. You ain't ain't setting me up, telling me to come pull up and get my pussy ate. You ain't setting me up. You, you're not setting me up. You will do that and still not get to set me up. I'll keep you in a cycle of eating my pussy before you get to set me up after eating my pussy. Yes, like people, I have, y'all, listen, niggas, 
I've had a fucking cousin act like she was fucking poor and homeless and down bad and out just to come to the crib. Came to the crib and nothing else was wrong. She could not leave. I told her to stay. Move in. Whatever you trying to do, come on, move in. I'm going to help it easier for you. That's the cousin Ty I told y'all about. The one who was in, involved in her daughter and this shit didn't know my, my, didn't know I knew my sister and my baby daddy sent them my way. Yeah, my, remember my dumb ass baby daddy? Like, I'm trying to tell y'all my dumb ass baby daddy even be with the shit. My dumb ass baby daddy be trying to hit me up, act like he trying to see our daughter and shit and be taking too long to get there. Never telling me when he gonna get there. If you tell if somebody taking too long to send you an address to link up and shit, you got five minutes to respond to me. I'm thinking you trying to set me up. You got five minutes or so you fucking out there, bitch, for trying to get... I'm trying to tell y'all that it's an insurance policy out on you, collective. I'm not the only person that go through this. I read for people on a daily. Do you know how many clients I have read for it and told them this same shit? They go to the FDIC and find out they had insurance policies. I had one client who found out she, her parents reported her missing when she was younger. And she went and found out that she ran away, but they reported her missing and she had never... You know, popped up, they just assumed she was in sex check. And no, she told me that she found out her parents had filed, you know, for the insurance and shit. Until to this day, her parents is paying back that money for, for claiming that, that her daughter was missing when they knew they made her run off. They let her run off. They they caused her problems and let her run off. And they got this. She said this happened back in like the 80s, the 70s turned into the 80s. She's about what? 60 almost now. She left home when she was about 16, 17, she was saying. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this shit goes deep. She said she never knew her parents had the insurance policy money until she went to put an insurance policy on herself at the age of 60-something years old. And they told her that she was already declared dead in the state where she was born at and that an insurance policy was taken out. She told me that the time frame that she was talking to me, she had just got a settlement with the court that her parents had to pay all that money back to her and to the people that, yeah. But one of her parents passed away, so her mom is still dealing with the dip. But her mom is not paying it. I'm trying to tell y'all, this shit is real, and this shit is motherfucking deep. This shit is real as a motherfucker. Whoever you dealing with is money hungry. These bitches can't even buy you milk for themselves. They money hungry. Somebody has an insurance policy out on you. A family member, a close loved one, baby mama, baby daddy. You may also need to go get your social security number changed and let them know that someone has an insurance policy on you. No if, ands, or buts, they have to change it. I changed my children's social, but I kept mine the same because I want whoever got the insurance policy on me to feel fucking foolish. But it, if God already told it to me, the person who got the policy, I'm going to see them pass before they see me pass. Everybody that knew about the policy on me, I'm going to see them die before they ever see a policy, a piece of policy money from me. Anybody who ever was alive in my generation to put up insurance policy on me, they're going to die long before I even pass away so that they do not receive any funds. And God been told me that. And he's telling me to reveal that and to clarify and speak that over you. Anybody that's withholding any funds over collectives debt, will pass before they can even see these funds allocated. Will pass before these funds could even be approved. Will pass before these funds could ever think about manifesting to this person's position. So in other words, this person won't ever, they won't ever be able to see it. You're going to die of old age. All because they did this. If it wasn't for this insurance policy, you probably would have went down the other roads that the devil had for you. But because of this insurance policy, oh, God made sure you got put on a road that nobody could see. A road that nobody was on. A path that no one was on. Out of mind, out of sight, out of home. That's what I just heard. You went into isolation because these money hungry ass people put an insurance policy on you. And it's so sick and nasty. I don't even know the way that they will be telling other people that they have insurance policy. You know, uh, you know, if I'm maybe, you know, if. If you tell such and such what collective is, they say you're going to get a million dollars, right? That's that's what I'm getting. So when anybody knows that where you at or anything, they te they text in a call in this main individual who got the policy out on you to call a hit man or hit woman. Look. Hey, y'all drop a tip. Send me that tip. Send me some money. Send me a tip. Drop a purple heart. The Harry on. Look, seven of cups. Somebody gonna lose every fucking thing waiting for you to lose your life. 
Somebody has already lost everything waiting for you to lose your life. Somebody has lost everything trying to get you to lose your life. <laughs> Somebody has lost everything trying to get you to lose your life. Someone left, left their role, focused, lost focus of their role, astray their role to focus on your role. And all they did was walk to their own death. All they did was walk themselves into their own death. By no means possible will God allow the universe or whoever they fucking serve will allow them to get any money off of you, collector. Even if you send these motherfuckers money, it probably the payment will reject and turn back to you. Upside down, the lovers, they don't love you. They don't care about you. You are a financial resource to these individuals. Fuck these people. If this is your family, fuck your family. If this is your friends, fuck your friends. And this is your fa your parents. Fuck your parents. This is your adoptive parents. Fuck you. Just fuck them. Whoever this is, tell me, say it right now. Fuck them. Say it. Fuck them. It's now broken. Fuck them. And I'm telling you to affirm this because if you didn't know what was going on, it's because they all say fuck you. So it's fuck you. They all say fuck you, collective. All them individuals that know about the money, they say fuck you. They got to say fuck you when they're trying to set you up and shit. They don't give a fuck about you. They say fuck you. They want this and this million. I'm hearing three million. Three million. One goes to whoever compromises your location. And it's so fucking stupid to be believing this because even if this was to happen to you, an insurance company wouldn't give someone this type of person that amount of money. They even like it, it, it just like so fucking stupid. I'm not, I'm not grasping it. I'm not, I'm, I'm, this is like, I, I can't even explain how this is. Like, I don't know why this person, like, I'm, I don't know. I guess this person put word out on the street or something for you to get killed. They were just waiting for you to get killed. That's what it was. They were just waiting for something to happen to you. Look, the moon. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but this some real snake ass shit. And a lot of people in the community know about this shit. The whole motherfucking community know about this shit. Even ex-lovers know about this shit. So any ex-lovers trying to come around, they trying to get in on this million because they motherfucking broke. When people come around you, ask them to send you some money to see if they got money first. Tell them to send you some money before you link up. Send them some, send you some money. And I bet you they broke asses can't. I bet you they broke asses ain't got cash yet. Because they broke asses trying to get this motherfucking million off of you. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody, I'm trying to tell y'all. But they say I'm crazy. I'm telling y'all, whoever this is for, I am confirming it for you. There is an insurance policy on you for your death worth three million. Whoever is the policyholder is saying that they're getting three million. You see the nigga holding up three. The thumb and the two index fingers. You see that, huh? This nigga is saying that this person is saying they're getting three million off for you, and somebody's gonna get one million from you. Somebody's gonna get one million for compromising you, for betraying you, and setting you up. They motherfucking thought it worked like that. They fucking thought it worked like that. And it don't. Not with you. Not with you. They're going to have to work hard and fight harder. But the fight has already taken them out. The battle has already taken them out. It has made you greedy and taken them out. So y'all stay prayed up. Fuck them, whoever this is. Fuck whoever be trying to set you up and shit you know what be going on you know motherfuckers don't fuck with you you know who trying to you you, you get what i'm saying you know what be going on you know exactly what the fuck be going on don't play crazy and don't compromise your safety but you could compromise theirs if they want to keep playing with you you could compromise they could get theirs compromised and people know that that they're compromising their safety playing with you but that's how bad they want this million that's how bad they want this million and how easily they're told that it's easy, it's easy to get. Look, three, four, five, debt. Three, four, five, debt. Three. Three. Four. Five. Debt. And you see the one and the three. One and three. One million and three million. That's the dividends of it. That's how you're dividing it. Queen of Cups. That's how you're dividing it. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay abundant. Stay consistent. And make sure you stay prayed up because you don't know what the fuck a prayer just dodged. You don't know what the fuck a prayer just cured. You don't know what the fuck a prayer just stopped. 
Y'all stay prayed up. I love y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Twitter, X, and TikTok. DM me and let me know you're from the OG community so I can follow you back. It's all love over here. I love you guys so much for real, for real. Thank y'all. I'm about to go ahead and eat me some lunch.